hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c is equal to c divided by c and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in order to find uh, all the roots of this equation uh, we need uh, to uh, cross multiply the terms and you see here in the left hand side the denominator of this term is 1 in the right hand side we have c divided by c so here we cross multiply the terms and we multiply c with this c and it will become c square and we multiply 1 with this c and it will become 1 times of c and further you uh, you see here we have this is c square is equal to c uh, and now uh, we move this c in the left hand side and after moving this into the left hand side it will become c square minus c is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve c so that we will take common c from here so when you take common c we get here the remaining values are from here we get c minus from here we get 1 is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 1 is equals to 0. So further you see here uh, we have this is c is equals to 0. This is the first root and from here we get c is equals to plus 1 and this is the our second root of the given equation. Now we find here uh, these two roots of the given equation and in the next steps we need to verify that is these two roots are solution of the given equation and uh, these two roots are extraneous root okay uh, so for uh, verification of the uh, roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is c is equals to c divided by c and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 1. So here first we need to focus on uh, c is equals to 0 uh, and when we put this value on both of the sides it will be written as 0 is equals to 0 divided by 0. Uh, so 0 divided by 0 uh, simply uh, means that it is the in uh, determinate form okay this is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is uh, undefined form so if this is uh, uh, our right hand side is undefined uh, this means that both of the sides are not equal so uh, we conclude about c is equals to zero is that it is not satisfied our given question statement so c is equals to 0 is not satisfied over given question statement so we call c is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so c is equals to 0 be the extraneous root and now here we will verify our second root so we put c is equals to 1 on both of the sides of this equation and after substituting this it will be written as 1 is equals to 1 divided by 1 and here you see that 1 is equals to 1 so you see here clearly the value of c is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement so c is equals to 1 be the only one solution of the given equation which we get here from first method and now here uh, we move towards our second method uh, and in uh, second method uh, we need uh, to copy down given question statement here uh, so that in second method uh, we copy down given question statement it is c is equals to c divided by c so this is our given question statement 
and uh, in the second method i can just give you uh, a fastest way to find the values of c or to find the root of c okay so you if you see here in the right hand side uh, we see here these are the two linear terms are divided by each other uh, so these two are cancelled out by each other and here you easily get the value of c is equals to 1 so this is the uh, only one root of the given equation which we get here from uh, second method uh, also in the first method we already verify this value of c and we see here this value c b is satisfied our given question statement so finally we conclude about the solution set of the problem is that c is equals to 1 be the only solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos